All right, thanks for watching, and today I would like to solve one of my favorite calculus problems. Namely, consider the surface square root of x plus square root of y plus square root of z equals square root of c, where c is a positive number, then this is a surface, and for most positive points, this has a well-defined tangent plane, like that. And what I want to show you today is the following really cool fact. Namely, if you add the x-intercept, y-intercept, and z-intercept of that tangent plane, then the sum equals c. So it is constant. And in particular, this has a nice interpretation if you consider the triangle connecting those three intercepts. Then it turns out the center of mass, the barycentre in French, is constant. It doesn't depend on the point at all. How cool is that? Now, to solve this problem, uh, notice this surface is actually a level surface because this just becomes square root of x plus square root of y plus square root of z equals to a constant. So consider the function f of x, y, z equals square root of x plus square root of y plus square root of z. And as I mentioned, the surface is just a level surface. So in particular, to find the equation of the tangent plane at any point, x naught, y naught, z naught on the surface, you just have to use the equation of the tangent plane to level surfaces, which is simply given as follows, fx, x naught, y naught, z naught, times x minus x naught, plus fy, so the partial derivative of f with respect to y, at the point, times y minus y naught, because y naught, plus, maybe here, plus the um, third one, so plus fz, x naught, y naught, z naught, times z minus z naught, equals zero. And by the way, how do we get this equation? Well, here's a nice thing. If you have a level surface, kind of like that, then the gradient is perpendicular to that level surface. So kind of the dot product is zero, and notice this is kind of a dot product. Gradient, 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 dotted with you know, x minus x naught, y minus y naught, z minus z naught equals zero. So that's how to derive it. And now let's calculate this fx, fy, x, fz. So now fx at the point x, y, z, so if you differentiate this with respect to x, we get 1 over 2 square root of x. So at the point x naught, y naught, z naught, we get 1 over square root of x naught. And similarly for f, y, and f, z. So what we get, 1 over 2 square root of x naught times x minus x naught plus 1 over 2 square root of y naught times y minus y naught plus 1 over 2 square root of z naught z minus z naught equals 0. And the nice thing is you can just multiply all sides by 2 and still get the answer. So this gets you know, 1 over square root of x naught, 1 over square root of y naught, and 1 over square root of z naught equals that. And now the question is, this is the tangent plane, and the question is, um, what are the intercepts? Well, notice. Just our little picture here. Not bad, it's kind of tangent polygon, if you wish. For the x-intercept, all you need to do is set y and z equal zero. So let's see what happens here if we set y and z equal zero. We get one over square root of x naught, x minus x naught, plus one over square root of y naught, but then minus y naught, and then plus 1 over square root of z naught, and then minus z naught equals 0. So in particular, 1 over square root of x naught times x minus x naught equals, so here's the thing, y naught over square root of y naught, that becomes minus square root of y naught, and we have minus square root of z naught, so in the end we get square root of y naught plus square root of z naught, if you put this on the right-hand side. 
And then you can just solve for this. We get um, x minus x naught equals square root of x naught square root of y naught plus square root of x naught square root of z naught. And so in the end, the x-intercept is x equals x naught plus, if you want, square root of x naught square root of y naught plus square root of x naught square root of z naught. And then notice, then by symmetry, so if you want, you can redo this whole thing, but ain't nobody got time to that. But by symmetry, you essentially get that the y-intercept is y equals y naught plus square root of y naught, or not x naught, and then square root of y naught, square root of z naught. So just, you know, the, uh, instead of x naught, you put y naught, and then the other terms are interchangeable. So that's fine. And then for the z-intercept, we get z equals z naught plus square root of z naught, oh no, square root of x naught, and then plus square root of z naught, square root of y naught. All right, so those are our intercepts. And now let's add them together. And notice, this is quite ugly, okay? Well, let's see if stuff simplifies. So if you do x plus y plus z, that is x naught, plus y naught, plus z naught, and then there are a bunch of terms that are equal, like this thing, and where, where did we go? Uh, and this thing <laughs> right there, uh, it adds up, so plus two. Square root of x naught, square root of y naught, and then, well, we have, uh, it's, let's see, y naught, z naught, you can also add two, so square root of y naught, square root of z naught, and then lastly, square root of x naught, square root of z naught. You also have two of them. And again, it still looks very ugly until you notice the following. This is square root of x naught squared. This is square root of y naught squared. This is square root of z naught squared. And then plus 2 square root of x naught square root of y naught plus 2 square root of y naught square root of z naught plus 2 square root of x naught square root of z naught. So it's almost like a peanut for the z naught. And now, notice, here's a nice thing. This is of the form a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2ac, or 2ab of 2bc plus 2ac. And it turns out this is the same thing as a plus b plus c squared and just if you want by foiling this out and you get that kind of the analog of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, but then that becomes square root of x naught plus square root of y naught plus square root of z naught squared. Now for arbitrary points, this doesn't tell us much, but remember the point was on the surface square root of x plus square root of y plus square root of z equals square root of c. So in particular, at this particular point, this becomes square root of c squared, and that becomes c. And I just have to say, claro que okay, c. Hopefully now this clears it up. All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.